G'day guys, so I'm out tonight again chasing the wild dogs. I've had a little bit of a mercy call for this place. It's a friend of mine that uh, lost a few sheep in the last week. So I've headed up uh, just on dark, get a bit of a lay of the land. I'm going to head out on the hillside up above his house and set up. We'll see how we go. I don't know what chances I've got for the first time on this block, but we shall see. Property owners told me about this little spot. It's where he dumps his sheep guts and carcasses, so I set the collar up on the ridge above it. Righto, so I'm not in a bad spot up here. I'm on a ridge line with a deep gully either side, and I can see the rear skyline up above this bit of a basin. So I'm going to set up here with the collar, put the Icotec about 40 metres down in this gully, and we'll let it rip, see if I can get something to arc up. I won't talk too loud. But I've just got a few answers on the caller up here. There's a, it sounds like more than one dog howling up here, so I'll be a bit quiet. Keep the caller going. We'll see what we can bring in. There we go, so that'll be one happy property owner. Uh, I've been up on this hillside for probably about 40 minutes. Uh, I've had the Icotec caller going only probably for about three or four cycles on some of the calls. I started off with some predator sounds, just um, rabbits and stuff like that. Uh, didn't get any sort of movement, so I thought, righto, well, let's, uh, let's jump onto the, the dog noises. And straight away, up on this ridgeline, probably about four or five hundred metres away, I got a couple of answers. I do think there was more than this one dog. So, um, yeah, kept cycling the call. I didn't realise the grass is really long up in here. It's quite hard to see through um, or see into. Luckily, the thermal penetrates that a little bit, and I didn't get much time to shoot at this fella. He just happened to come through a little bit of a gap in the grass. I saw a, a bit of a back line in the scanner, and this tripod's the duck's nuts for this... Um, static sort of calling because it it obviously pivots around and you can move your gun really smooth um so yeah straight on the gun uh got it up just had time to hit record and he and he just paused when i shot i didn't um didn't spend a whole lot of time on the shot so um yeah he spun around a bit and i whacked him a second time the first shots hit him probably about two ribs in so certainly fatal um wasn't very happy about that obviously but yeah great animal to get out quite a big dog he's got really big feet big teeth um, his top ones there would be near on inch long bottoms would be three quarters of an inch wonder why they do so much damage big black strip down his back um, he's obviously got a reasonable amount of alsatian or something like that in him so um yeah happy with that I've, yeah first time on this property so great outcome so early in the night I'm going to go and have another crack in a different spot now on the other side of the road. One absolutely stoked farmer. So, uh, yeah, really good outcome for him. First trip and dog down in short time. So no luck on the other side of the property. It's a bit late now. I'm going to head home. It is a weeknight. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see everyone next time.